Hi there guys, so um, today I want to be talking about two early shoot 'em ups for the Mega Drive. Now these were released pretty early on in the Mega Drive's life and so you know, it, it's trying to sort of, um, they've not even established the uh, abilities of what the Mega Drive can do. You know, of like all, all the kind of you know, programming that he's doing to create like special effects and everything like that. So um, the first one I want to talk about is Thunder Force 2. Now, I've got a clue what happened to Thunder Force 1. I don't know. I think it was for the MSX, I think, you know, to be honest. Um, but yeah, Thunder Force 2, it was one of the first, it was like a, almost a launch title for the Mega Drive. It was one of the first games. Now, uh, first of all, you start off top down view and you see above your ship and you're firing all over the place. Um, now, you've got like four or five kind of bases you need to destroy. Um, once you've killed one base, you can then, you've got to shoot sort of the barriers to get through to the next level, kill another base, then move back and then um, kill, and, uh, so, uh, like break down a barrier to get to the other side and kill that base. And once you've finally done that, then you go into stage two. Um, now, when you're on stage two, it's sideways. So it's all vertical, uh, horizontal, sorry, horizontal scrolling. Um, and um, then you'll be moving along and, uh, you know, killing baddies again. It's kind of like, you know, Gradius, Salamander style. Um, pretty good actually. Now there are several power-ups you can get. Things like uh, you've got like a three-way, you've got like a homing sort of beam or homing, you've got a laser. Now each each time uh, there's several power-ups to get like five or six you can get. Now when you're on the top-down view, you need five or six to get them. When you go into the side view, you don't have them weapons, so you've got to get your side um, get the power-ups in the side view. And then once you've done the second level, you go back to the top view again. And those power-ups that you've kept, or those power-ups you had, you'll still keep back into that level, okay? And then you move on and you've got to kill like five or six bases again. Then you move on to the side, uh, the uh, horizontal view. And then uh, once again, you move on to the top. Now, overall though, Thunder Force is actually a really good game. It's a really, really good game. It's cheap, really hard to get, really easy to get hold of. Um, I would highly recommend it. There is one downside though. It is freaking hard. Okay, you will die a lot. And again, and again, and again, you'll die a hell of a lot. But I do recommend getting it and giving it a try. I do recommend being patient with it because once you've got like full power ups with your homing missiles and your barrier and or your, your three way and your, your lasers and everything like that, once you've got all your power ups, it, is, it does tend to get pretty easier. Um, but once you die, you lose all of that, and you you know you have to start again from scratch with a really basic weapon. Um, but overall, like I say, really great game, definitely worth giving it a try. Just be patient with it, but it is extremely, extremely hard. So, guys, that's Thunder Force Two for the Mega Drive. Now, the next one I want to talk about is um, my actual very first game I got for the Mega Drive. When I went out, it first came out, I, was, I, I saw a Japanese Mega Drive um, that was in the papers, and I went to buy it, um, and um, it came with this game, Arrow Flash. Now, it was a Japanese version, it wasn't this version, it was a Japanese version. Um, still the same. Uh, I was lucky to actually get a Japanese Mega Drive because uh, that worked out that I could play all of the games without modding it or anything like that, which was fantastic. Um, but yeah, Arrow Flash, so straight away, um, vertically, uh, sorry, horizontally, I keep saying vertically, horizontal scrolling, um, shoot them up. Now, you've got a choice, you start off, you, you, when you're playing, or it's a robot, you can transform at any, t any given time. And uh, it's like five levels overall. Now, the first one is when you're playing, now you, you're collecting power-ups all the time. So your first one, you've got things like, um, you can collect la your laser, you've got your shield, you've got missiles, You've also got arrow flashes with the light board as A, um, and you've got your friends as well, which are kind of like pods that will stay beside you. Now, when you're in the ship version, uh, you've got a uh, few things. One, your pods, or your friends, what you call them, you, you know, they'll stay by you, they'll move around in a very similar way to Gradius or Salamander with your, your options. Um, so, but you can only collect the maximum of two. 
and um, also your arrow flash or your special weapon you've got a choice you can have it in stock version which you keep your finger on it powers it up or you can uh, sorry uh, that's charge version if you keep stock version you stock them up each time if charge you've got infinite man you just got to charge it before you can fire it now uh, with arrow flash if you're in the plane version or the ship version like I say, your your special weapon is like a, um, like a, an arrow, uh, five kind of bullets that fly out in arrow formation. Um, now in the robot version, which I think looks pretty awesome actually, um, you've got um, when you use your special weapon, it's a giant. You're covered in like a giant fireball or something. You can move around, um, and you, you like you, you can't be killed for like five. You're invulnerable for like five seconds or so, which helps. I tend to find gets you out of some really sticky situations. Plus also your friends as well will stay in a set pattern, okay? So you've got one at the top, one at the bottom, and then you're shooting in the middle at the front. Um, I think it does give a good variety overall. Great game. Um, I think it scored once again about 80%. One of my favorites, so I do love it. I think there's some nostalgia in there, to be honest. But it is one of my favorite games, and I do love it. Highly recommend it, like five levels to choose from. It is pretty easy to finish. I mean, compared to Thunder Force 2, this one you could probably finish in your first sitting. But it is one of those that is, you, you'll come back and have a blast on it again and again and again. So, Arrow Flash, highly recommend it. Um, this one is going for a little bit more, probably around about £30, £40. You can get it unboxed for quite cheap. You get it boxed, like I say, £30 or £40. Um, but it, it, um, it, it, give it a try, unboxed. If you're thinking about it, highly recommend it if you do like shoot em ups. So, Arrow Flash, absolutely love it. One of my favourite games. So. Guys, so that is just two shoot em ups for the Mega Drive, Thunder Force 2 and Arrow Flash. Highly recommend it, give it a try if you think you're a shoot em up fan. And um, once again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to give the thumbs up, a like and subscribe uh, if you are new to the to channel. And um, thanks for watching guys, I'll see you soon.